welcome back everyone. So, uh, last time we were able to recapture some of our the sectors that we lost to the enemy before. And uh, we were planning on, uh, we were pondering on whether to uh, still go forward and try to recapture this sector also. But uh, I was thinking that uh, our guys have been in such such a hurry this day and uh, they have uh, encountered so horrible things. I mean, Beth died and uh, and they have been... Uh, <coughs> they are all wounded at the moment. So uh, I think that uh, maybe it's better just to let the time pass and uh, we can concentrate on, uh, on getting this sector back tomorrow. <coughs> so, let's compress time and see what, what is going to happen. Uh, but, uh, yes, maybe before we do that, we would actually travel to this sector, because I think that, that is, uh, it's more likely that the enemy is going to act back there. Okay. So if the enemy tries to recapture that sector, we can fight them off. Okay. And uh, okay. let's get our guys to a little bit uh, better positions. swimming but I mean that distance is just so long that they would have all drowned so I think that they came from here so uh, if we go to this sector now I think that we're not going to be facing too many enemies maybe just one or yeah. maybe not even any enemies yeah so change of plans so let's go here and see what we can find okay there are some enemies here okay. so let's just uh, yeah, maybe I can go here cool. and uh, yeah. also Hector can yeah. go here. I'm not too fond of splitting my party like this, but uh, what? Okay. But uh, since I I really don't believe that there are many enemies in this sector, yo. Uh, so uh, cool. maybe it's okay this once. Yeah, no. and the enemy turns are very, cool. very short, so that also yeah. uh, makes me believe that uh, there's maybe just one enemy here. Hmm. Yeah, now I think that we have to move these uh, guards here. What? Just in case that the enemies that uh, just uh, captured the okay. sector are going to try to uh, actually capture our fa uh, our factory, which would be just uh, devastating. And, uh, okay. If that happens, the I I'm not sure. Maybe even the game ends Yo. if we don't have anybody to defend it and mm -hmm. capture our you know, first sector. Yeah. That has never happened to me, so See. I'm not actually sure is going to happen if uh, if the enemy captures that sector. Yo. That's cool. So. Yeah. See. Yeah. Let's try to get forward and 
One. Let's see if we can spot the enemy. Okay. Yeah, the enemy is not moving at all, so. Okay. Ah, uh, oh. Okay. Yo. It's cool. Let's go here. Okay. And the Hector should go to the house. If he's actually inside the house. Okay, I don't see anybody. Yo. Yeah, I can go here. Be cool. What? Okay. Okay, now we have the cards here also. So we will probably be able to keep this water source, but. Uh, Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work in cool. the coming days. Yeah. This day has uh, gone um, uh, pretty well, I think, because uh, this has been very tough. A very, very, very tough day for us. I mean, we have to encounter the hordes of enemies and still. We have been managed to what? have managed to um, fight them uh, relatively successfully. Okay. Yo. Yeah, I wonder where this enemy is. It's cool. Yeah, I, I'm quite sure that there's only one enemy here. It's cool. Sometimes these enemies are just so hard to find. It kind of reminds me of okay. uh, XCOM, the original one, <laughs> because in that game also you sometimes just have to. <laughs> use so much time in uh, search what? for one last enemy that is hiding okay. somewhere in the sectors and also in this game I mean sometimes you just have to search for the enemy Yo. for quite a long time it's cool. because the sectors can be quite big it's cool. yeah. See. Hmm. yeah I wonder where he is what? okay Okay. Yo. Cool. Okay. See. Hmm. Could he have been inside the house? Yo. I mean, that's just so huge waste of time if we if he actually was inside cool. the house. feel that he was actually inside the house. Yeah. I mean, he cannot be here anymore, and I s would have probably Yo. spotted him if he... Yeah. I can try to take a look cool. from here, but... Uh, after that, I think that uh, Fidel what? and... Uh, okay. <coughs> Fidel and Hector are starting to go back to the... Yeah. Back to the house. See. systematic in okay. the way that I, I search the enemies because I mean we, we just are wasting time okay. See. yo it's cool it's cool yeah the enemy is cool. not here I guess I can maybe try going here and it's cool Look if the enemy is actually on the okay. other side of the river. Yeah, See. there we go there. What? You can maybe wait, feed up for a okay. second. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. C. C. What? Okay. Yo. Nice, cool. Oh, yeah. Need to shoot way back to camp. Maybe good thing. We yeah. We don't have too much time, so we would really need to. Okay. See this guy soon. See. See. What? what is here? Okay. Yo. That's cool. Hmm. I really. That's cool. I'm wondering where the hell this guy actually is. Okay. See. What? Okay. He's not here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yo. I mean, where the hell is this guy? Who? Cool. Yeah, he has to be on the other side of the river. Okay. See. He's not here either. See. What? Yeah, this okay. could be quite tough. Yo! Yeah, I was cool. just trying to spot him from here because, I mean, there's not too much landmass on the other side of the bridge. It's cool. What? Hmm. Yeah, this is really, really okay. irritating. I mean, where the hell could this enemy be? No, he's not in the building either. Hmm. I mean, we would have spotted if he had, would have been here. Maybe he could be like there. And he wasn't here. I mean, it's really the only place that I can think of. run away from what? this sector because we're okay. not able to find the enemy. Yeah, he's not here eh, either. Okay. I mean, hmm. Yeah, I'm okay. not sure. Okay. Okay. Yo. Could this possibly be a bug cool. or something? So that since the enemies went to okay. capture our uh, Sector beneath this sector, then maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. But this is just so weird. I mean, there is one one enemy in this sector, but we just we are not able to find him. Yo, it's cool. Which is really, really irritating, and that's why we have to flee this sector because we're running out of what? time. Okay. Okay. So we, we cannot end the day what? when we are in uh, okay. inside a hostile Yo. territory. Cool. So that's the reason why we are fleeing this sector now. Okay. So basically what is going to happen if we are in, in the hostile territory uh, when the time ends. Oh, actually, yeah, we're... 
yeah, this is actually last turn of the day, I think. So now we can uh, just travel. And the day is going to end immediately, basically, yes. Yeah, we were actually quite lucky in that sense that uh, we were able to get out of that sector. Now look at this battle. There's reinforcements coming from the up sector and also the right sector. And the battle took literally one hour of game time. It's a terrible shame all those natives died. Yeah. <coughs> ah, native deaths, 17. Yeah, uh, 18, yeah, so. <coughs> that can't really hurt us. So let's see what's, uh, what else. What has improved? <coughs> Finally, Hector gets some more marksmanship. Sparky is going to get her hit points back. Okay. Yeah. This is one thing that... Uh, that I was uh, pondering. Because uh, since Beth died... Now we would need to pay 1000 for, you know, her corpse to be transported to her home country and uh, and for her to get a proper bur burial. And uh, I mean, this um, our financial situation is very, very dire. So, I mean, I'm I think that we're just going to, you know, dump her body into the ocean. Yeah, because we really don't have enough cash to give her a proper burial. This is this is going to, you know, devastate the morale of our troops and I don't know, maybe some some of our mercenaries will even resign because of this. But um, I mean our balance is so terrible so Yeah. Let's try that. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. That wasn't exactly the kind of burial that I that I would like to give to my mercenaries, but, uh, I mean, yeah. The enemy has driven us to this kind of desperate actions. Okay, so we will save the game. Ice has been a real, real killing machine. I mean, I'm, I don't think that anyone is uh, going to top his uh, his score with the amount of enemies that he has killed. Okay, and uh, maybe we can take take a look at AIM if uh, you know there are some new mercenaries that would like to join us. I don't, I don't think we have enough money to hire anyone. Mm, that don't always. Yeah, he might doesn't want to join us. Hell, I never heard of you. Okay. Talk. I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so he would be willing to join. He's a pretty good doctor. Okay. 
but links. I don't accept assignments to new operations until I know the exact situation and the abilities. Okay, don't bullshit me. I've lived a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll really have to prove your. Okay. Yeah, we haven't been doing too well, and a lot of them, many of the mercenaries, really. Sorry, don't trust but I us. have personal commitments around here. I'm. Yeah. Yeah, they just don't want to join us because uh, if we have outstanding results all the time, then they're much more likely to join us. So we don't really have any other choice than to go to sleep. We really don't have too much money left. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. you might want to take one of my four trusted native assistants out with you today. He might be some help as a guide. Elio. Okay. Yeah, definitely. We will take him. I mean, Elio doesn't uh, cost anything. And uh, he is at least one guy who, who we can uh, sacrifice. For the greater good. Yeah, now, now we're just. Uh, we have some real financial problems. Okay, one more grenade. So Ivan is coming with us today. Actually, I think that um, we don't really have to put any more any any guys to uh, as patients. If we don't want to, but of course our financial situation is so bad that we we practically uh, are forced to, you know, put some of our mercenaries uh, as as patients because otherwise we don't have enough money. So we could actually put maybe all these three guys. That way we will save significant amount of money uh, the other thing that we could do is just you know start firing guys because uh, we just don't have enough money to pay all of them yeah she can be a doctor yeah we have this better medical pack so we can these hmm. A and uh, she's able to heal all of her guys so basically we would have only Ivan Spark and Ilio yeah that's not that's not very good I guess better choice would be to fire somebody hmm. Hector hasn't been too um, too productive he uh, his salary is 600 so um, hmm. he would be the person that I would first fire and um, Fidel and Ice they are both about equally expensive Fidel is the most expensive guy that we have so yeah I actually think that maybe we need to fire Fidel we need to fire maybe we could fire Fidel and Hector both that way we save significant amount of money and we still have two very good marksmen uh, Ivan and Ice and uh, uh, yeah and we have Sparky and uh, yeah Give all Fidel stuff to to Ivan. we fire Fidel we are going to merge this explosives with uh, with the detonator hmm. live explosives yeah 
so this live explosive we can use uh, uh, to blow up walls for instance and uh, it is very very devastating if you can actually hit a group of enemies with this so uh, This never happen. It must be mistake. Because they can keep on repairing the stuff that they uh, needs repairing. Yeah, actually, yeah, maybe this armor we could actually give it to Spec, so he can repair it. And uh, is there some other stuff that we could give him? Hmm, maybe this other better. Yeah, this armor is also very bad condition. In a very bad condition, so uh, yeah, and of course this crowbar. Okay, so he's able to take care of these these items. Well, maybe in this order.
Yeah, maybe Ivan can take this gold as uh, his secondary weapon. Project balance we are able to get now. No. We want tappers. We need to raise the salary, I think. Okay. And we need to raise it a little bit more. It's only minus 300. So uh, we're not going to go bankrupt today. But our team is uh, definitely a rather bare bones team. So um, let's see what we can do with this. And uh, we will start from our first sector, and we are going to take these two, two sectors today, no matter what. And uh, we need more guards, definitely. Okay, so we need to raise the salaries even more. And even more. Because 
units we need definitely need at least three full groups of guards preferably even more yeah I think that we will be able to manage with this yeah by the way Jack didn't say anything about you know capturing the water source so yeah he didn't mention anything about that so maybe we also need to capture this sector I'm not sure hmm. okay but uh, oh my god yeah of course because we didn't have guards previously and now now that we had this all these guards and dappers now it's still minus two minus two thousand So basically we are going to run out of money in uh, two days. Hmm. What about if we take those four guards away? start <laughs> all over again we have to recapture these two sectors and maybe after that mm, we can either go with this sector or um, one of these sectors we definitely also uh, have to start to think about uh, this second uh, SAP processing plant because uh, when we're going to get uh, some more trees that we can harvest then uh, then we are going to also need uh, need more more of this plant, plant space okay but we will start a new day so let's get to work Until then, 